Oh, yeah, you are on the platform, and we've got more coming on Platform Plus. I'm actually... You know what? You know you're probably over your career if going back to work feels like a horrible drag and think, oh, the good times are over. I was ready uh, to come back. I was kind of chomping at the bit. We, we had a day, a little admin day uh, last Friday. I was doing some work over the weekend, and I just... It's nice to see everyone's got a smile on their face, even if Ben's only going to be... No, he's all right. He saved himself, actually. Um, Ruby uh, just popped in, looking uh, bright and full of the joys of life. And it is kind of good to get back into it. And as I say, election year, so much to talk about. There will be so much drama, so much uh, interest and excitement here in New Zealand. It's a Rugby World Cup year. I'm be honest, I'm looking for a sponsor for our Rugby World Cup uh, coverage because I want to uh, send Marty and Lockie, if we can afford it, I want to send them to the Rugby World Cup because uh, I think they'd be awesome over there. So if you're running a company that wants to sponsor that particular sojourn, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Sales at theplatform.kiwi. Um, I am looking for a sponsor, a specific sponsor. Well, I'll take a sponsor for Marty's whole show, but certainly to get him to the Rugby World Cup. Um, you know, otherwise it'd just be impossible if we locked him up back here, wouldn't we? Um, all right, look, now an interview I've greatly looked forward to um, because this story, and it was the last major political story in New Zealand of 2022, and we all went off on holiday and it kind of developed quickly and then it was gone, but I still think it's a fascinating story and it really piqued my interest. As you remember, in a heated moment in the last week of uh, Parliament last year, um, David Seymour was just needling, as he tends to do, the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern. And she was obviously frustrated by what uh, David Seymour was doing, and she muttered to Grant Robertson under her breath as she sat down, arrogant prick. Um, not the most parliamentary thing that could be said. And then there were points of order, and then it, uh, it seemed that it was so audible that Hansard, because David Seymour raised a point of order, Hansard had to put it down on the official record of Parliament. Well, the story went off. It went around the world. Uh, because Jacinda Ardern, in case you didn't know, is a bit of an international political superstar. And it was entered in Hansard, and the Prime Minister looked like she'd sucked the lemon when she got caught saying that. Uh, and then David Seymour, as I understand, came up with the bright idea. And I think it was a really nice Christmas story. It was kind of... You know, it was like a Christmas truce on the Western Front or at Gallipoli. Uh, he said, let's get together in no man's land. He went up to her office and they signed the Hansard, the official document of Parliament. I mean, I could go and get that, a copy of that Hansard, but it wouldn't be signed by Jacinda Ardern and David Seymour. And then they put it up to auction with the proceeds going, uh, though I don't think because you buy something you don't get charitable tax status for having bought it. They put it up for auction on, um, I think it was Trade Me. And uh, David Seymour told me, he think oh, we might get, might have got five grand for it. Well, it went off. This auction absolutely went off. And at the end of the day, it was sold for $100,100. And that money went to prostate cancer. I got a mate, actually, he's got prostate cancer made of mine in Tyrua, and he had the best joke of the year was, he said, tell David Seymour I'm still waiting for my check. Um, <laughs> good try, Scotty, but no banana. Um, but the person who did buy it was uh, from Reefton, a veterinarian called Julian Shorten. And uh, let's talk to Julian about winning that bid and why he got into it. He joins us, and if you're watching this on replay, you can actually see him. He's on video link from Reefton. Julian, welcome to the platform. Thank you for, for coming on and talking to us. You're our, uh, our second, our first video interview of 2023. Can you hear us, Julian? Uh, you can? Good day, Sean. Oh, good. Uh, We've got you loud and clear. That's excellent. I can, yes. You can hear us, all right. I can hear you, yes. Good. Now, Julian, that's a hell of a lot of money <laughs> for a piece of paper signed by a couple of politicians what was it that got you interested uh, about this document? It was the start off about it's 
kind of unfree. And then the bidding started on Trade Me, and then it just grabbed me. Hey, Julian, we are going to have to. We have got some delay problems. You got your phone with you? Yes, I have. Can you ring? Oh, he seemed to be okay now, does he? Okay, this is because you're our first interview. We may have a few gremlins in the system. All right. My understanding is that you actually had to take out a loan or raise finance to win this this auction. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Boy, that... our manager, he was on holiday. Yeah. So he was on holiday. He rang me back. <laughs> that's a hell of a pun. To borrow money to buy, you know, I, I, what would you call it? You call it a novelty item at a charity auction. Yes, uh, said it may have some value inherent in itself. However, all right, you are a veterinarian, right? And, and I want to get into this because this is a part of the story that hasn't really been covered yet. What sort of veterinarian are you? I'm a general practitioner. I do just really anything that comes through the door. And um, I have a certain amount of special, uh, can't say I'm a specialist, but I do um, equine dentistry. So you, your special thing, if there was a special thing is you take care of, you're a dentist for horses. Yes, that's correct. Okay, we're just going to play this with a very straight back, Julian. Can you see why that particular area of expertise might attract some comment as regards our Prime Minister? <laughs> I'll leave that with you. Sean. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you telling me you didn't think about that when you decided to bid for this? I, ab <laughs> I, absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely did not think of that. Really? Are you kidding me? That was a completely innocent thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see, I wondered. <laughs> I heard about this and I wondered, are they extracting the Michael or what? Or did they just not think that there were certain people who unfortunately troll the Prime Minister about her appearance? And that is one of the most common derogatory things that is said about her, is about her teeth. And I think it's unfair and I think it's lowbrow and it's not decent political debate. Did you? Did that not even cross your mind? I mean, Reefton, it's not Mars. <laughs> 100% that did not cross my mind. Oh, good <laughs> Lord. I, You've ruined my whole I'm, narrative. I'm, yeah. I thought I'd find some guy who was being horribly cynical and trolling the price. i got to say, I'm kind of heartened that you just seem like a decent bloke and you weren't taking the Michael, but boy, could you see how people might think you were? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, you your raised your wife, Sean. <laughs> yes, I can. Can we meet here? <laughs> Can we meet no, here? We're not married. Oh, you're not married. Oh, we're you're living married. in sin. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm come in, come in. It's like well, 20, neither 20, of you are married. That's what's 25 important. Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years of not being married. That's for, hello. What's your name? Hi. Hi. Uh, Gail. Gail. Like a storm, man. <laughs> Gail, you're in a storm of controversy here now that we've established he's an equine <laughs> dentist. Um. Gail, what did you think when this man said, why don't we borrow some money to buy a uh, 100... Uh, yep. Because he was going to buy a yacht for the second time after almost killing us the first time, and I thought this is a better bet, actually. The loan was for a yacht, which he's not having. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, this could only happen in Reefton, so I'm trying to get this straight. You were going to borrow the money to buy a yacht. Your non-wife didn't want you to get the yacht. So you said, here's a better alternative. <laughs> yeah. We'll just buy a piece of paper signed by the Prime Minister and David Seymour in the hope no, no. 
that we won't, that won't drown us. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, precisely. Precisely. Yes. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> what? <I> just, <laughs> sorry. Hey, mate. What have hey, you hey, done? Uh, hey, hey. As an aside, I haven't actually. Get... You haven't got it yet. <laughs> it's still on the wall, but the act party officers. Hey, just to be fair, there's a few wines consumed. Uh, and we didn't actually think we we're going to win. So well, it was a little bit... Well, can I tell you, my understanding was that David oh, Seymour was talking. really worried you weren't going to pay. You know, um, but obviously the money's gone through. Oh, so, <laughs> so, OK, let, we, he better deliver it to you. That seems unfair. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just yeah, sorry, it's Gail? Just the interest is a bit of a piss-off, is all. The interest on the loan? The interest rate. Just gone up. Yes. Sorry, this is such a good story. Uh, (laughs) Good job you're not married. It might a marriage might not have survived this, Julian. Julian, what are you going to do with it when you do get it? I mean, do you put it on on the wall behind you? Um, Do you sell it on? I mean, I think it probably does have retail or resale value. Uh, So, what do you do with it? Uh, well, at the moment, it's hanging on the walls in the act parties' mm. offices in Parliament. No, it's not in a cake, isn't it? And, and I, I guess I'll, I'll. It's locked in a cake. I don't know. As, as you say, sure, um, I put a price on that. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Could I ask you, do you have any politics? Was it anything more than a whim? Was there a political point to this? Um, I'm already well wide of the mark saying that you... The, the, you yeah. the, the answer to that is um, no, not really. Uh, um, Seymour comes to mind because he twerks on Dancing with the Stars. And um, I, don't, I was... I think she's been a great leader. So you're... you're and the other, the other a lot, the nice... Wow. The national kind of unproven at the moment. Yeah, yep. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, I'm still blown away by the fact that you didn't make the equine dentist uh, connection. Um, <laughs> though I'm not going to make a thing about that now. I, I'm just not never going to mention uh, that again. Uh, what did friends and family think um, when your identity was revealed? Um, most... <laughs> Um, I was embarrassed. So Gail was embarrassed. <laughs> but having said that, she said I could go to 120. You are kidding and me. Most people have been... <laughs> <laughs> people were positive. But if you scroll through Facebook, um, the trolling started. And you're yeah. probably familiar with that phenomenon. Well, am I ever. What, what on earth yeah. would someone <laughs> troll you about this for? <laughs> Charges too much. Yeah, they're saying watch, watch the vet fees go up on the coast. Yes. Okay, so if my, if my horse has teeth problems, I'm not going to you because I'm subsidising your pr- profligate charity spending. True. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A uh, horse, uh, horse dentistry, each have not gone to him. Yeah. Um. Julian, you talked about trolling. I think this is quite a serious issue. Did people, at what sort of volume and how nasty were the comments that you got? Um, yeah, they were, sh- they were uh, I would characterise them as shitty and I'd characterise them as from small-minded people. And the only response I had is, hope you guys don't get prostatic cancer. Yeah. Well, hey, well, well said. Very, very well said because it is a serious charity and I think you can feel you have done some good. And I guess it's Gail, isn't it, your wife, uh, uh, your non-wife? I guess she can feel neither of you are going to drown <laughs> if you hang that thing on the wall. Um, <laughs> but, boy, sh- hold on to here. Um, I don't think a lot of relationships... Um, would have survived what you did just before Christmas <laughs> last year. 
<laughs> I'm amazed it didn't get wrapped up under the Christmas tree uh, or something. And I think probably... You didn't have Christmas? You have couldn't Christmas. afford Christmas? We don't do Christmas. Yeah, no. They do Christmas or sailing. Okay. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I'm interviewing the wrong person in your household here? <laughs> you probably are. <laughs> Julian, look, thank you. Can I just say thank you to both of you? And I think what you did um, gave New Zealand Newswise a really nice end to the year. And a positive note, we saw some reconciliation between political rivals and we saw someone, namely you two, do a really decent thing for a good cause. And that was a, I think that was a really good positive way for New Zealand to end its new year. So I would like to thank you for sending me off on the holidays, um, feeling good. And I'd also like to apologise, having heard that you were an equine dentist, for presuming... <laughs> that you did it to make some nasty trolley point about the Prime Minister, I now find, and I do clearly <laughs> believe you, that you had no idea that people would, in what context, people might see your profession. Absolutely not. And, and for the record, Damien O'Connor sends me a Christmas card every year. Yeah. So there you go. I, don't worry, he sends everyone a Christmas card every year. Oh. <laughs> And you're a taxpayer, so you pay for it. <laughs> hey, guys, um, have a great day. Lovely talking to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, and thank you both for your generosity and your good humour. Lovely talking with you. <laughs> thank you, Sean. Thank okay, you, Sean. That is, that is equine dentist veterinarian. Um, and Reefton, from Reefton, uh, Julian Shorten and Gail, his non-wife of 25 years. And that is not quite the interview that I expected it to be, but hell, what a nice way, what a nice way to start the year. I, 